Welcome to the Bronx, New York. Cardinal Hayes High School, where this afternoon, the Varsity Media Sports Network presents this CHSAA showdown between the Gales of Iona Prep and the Cardinals of Cardinal Hayes. Good afternoon, everyone. Dylan Butler here with you. A rare Friday matinee basketball game in the Catholic League, but we kind of like it that way. Some inclement weather coming our way tonight. Already there's a game postponed. Christ the King heading to St. Peter's. So we're happy to get this one in early and then start our holidays. For the visiting Gales of Iona, they come in with a 5-1 and one record, 4-1 and one in the Catholic League. They've suffered their first loss of the year that Tuesday afternoon trip to Bay Ridge where they lose to Zavarian 74-55. Before that, it was a perfect 5-0 and start for Iona Prep. So let's see how the Gales will bounce back from that loss before they head to Florida for the Florida Get Down tournament next week. A couple of Gales to look forward to here this afternoon. We'll show you their players to watch now. And it's a combination here. You've got Blaze New, the do-it-all guard for Iona. You see his points there, 11.3 points, five assists, and 3.8 rebounds per game. Pretty much as this team, or as Blaze New brings this team, that's where they will go. He is the engine, the leader with his energy, toughness, unselfishness, and grit. You see there in the bottom of your screen too, a UMass lacrosse commit, Blaze New, and a guy who's probably made the biggest leap in a positive direction for Iona this season is A.J. Rodriguez, the six foot five senior forward. He's got an offer on the table from Lincoln University. He's a guy who can do a variety of things. Can put it on the floor, attack the rim, post up, shoot from three. He is the best scorer. He was last week's CHSAA Player of the Week. A.J. Rodriguez averaging 17.3 points a game for the Gales of Iona Prep. For Cardinal Hayes, it's been a struggle for the defending champions. They are two and five, one and two in the Catholic League. They have lost three straight and four, actually five of their last six. So after opening the season with a win over Pinkston, they lost to Lake Highlands. Then they had that loss here on a Friday night to Stepanak. They beat St. Peter's. And then it's been three straight losses. Duncanville, now they're the number one team in the country. Perry's also in the top 25 by ESPN, but the glaring one, not so much because of who they lost to, but how they lost was here, a game that we had for you on the Varsity Media Sports Network, a 78-48 to loss to Christ the King. So that's two losses here at home for a team that very rarely loses here at Duffy Court. So it's going to be interesting to see how Cardinal Hayes has bounced back. It's been a it's been an uh, Intriguing week of, of practice, certainly for them, and a lot of starting lineup spots up for grabs, said their head coach, Joe Lodes. Let's take a look at their players to watch. If Hayes is able to break out of their doldrums, they're going to rely on these two guys, as they kind of have all year. Elijah Moore, of course, Choppa. He is known as, you see there, 13 Division I offers for Choppa Moore, including Notre Dame. He's one of the best shooters in the country averaging 16 points a game and of course we almost don't even know, need to mention his name Ian Jackson Captain Jack the number two ranked junior in the country by ESPN 20 points four rebounds per game for a guy who also has a whole boatload of division one offers including Kentucky there you see look at that right on cue our two impact players on the bench there before the start of this one. An important game as well uh, for Cardinal Hayes. They next will be home in the Bronx, but they take on St. Francis for Maryland. Another tough national schedule type of game. That's going to be at the Gaucho's Gym on the 29th, and then they get back into their league play with Mount St. Ray's and Zavarian. So uh, this is a big one for them to kind of bounce back and get out of their losing streak. We'll take a look at the keys for both teams in this one. Iona Prep, they want to play at their tempo. They know that 
Cardinal Hayes will look to speed this game up. They want to play in their tempo. They want to slow it down a little bit and also lock down the paint. They want to limit those unforced errors. An unforced error for Iona would mean a leak out for Cardinal Hayes, and that's where the Cardinals are at their best in transition. And then also offensively, they want to spread out Cardinal Hayes and get quality open looks. For Cardinal Hayes... Joe Lode says we want to push the ball and rebounds the ball. Two important factors for them. Shoot better than they did against Christ the King. And he said they want to regain our mojo. He said, listen, we're the defending champions. Let's play like that a little bit. So that's three important keys for Cardinal Hayes in this one. You know, as we kind of look at the Catholic League on the whole, you know, you're starting to sort of shape up and see where teams are falling and, and the levels and who are the leaders. Certainly Christ the King. We've seen them now back-to-back -back games, winning big here and then beating St. Francis Prep at home. You could make the argument that they are the team to beat, but certainly that upper tier of the Catholic League includes Archbishop Stepanak, and you'd still have to say the Hazeman here from the Bronx. Maybe just below that, you put a St. Francis Prep who has impressed... And Iona's kind of trying to figure out where they are in that mix as well. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for both teams. First, for Iona Prep. And you see their starters there. It's Blaze New and Johnny Keenan. Keenan was just a freshman a year ago. Sophomore starter. He's another guy who's also taken a big step up. You've got A.J. Rodriguez. We mentioned him before. Bengali Baridi, the senior who gives a little bit of everything at 6'4", 170. Also their best defender. It'll be interesting to see who Baridi defends here. Would it be Ian Jackson? Would it be Chapa Moore or other? And then down low, it's Jalen Prey, the 6'7", 220-pound junior. This guy is a multi-dimensional multi forward. And if he's got his energy going, if he plays at that high level, well, then he's likely to have a really big game. Did, this, did just that in their big win against St. Peter's. The head coach of Iona Prep is Steve Alvarado in his sixth season, a 1987 graduate of Bronx High School of Science. He's in his 11th season overall at Iona. Previously was the JV head coach where he led the Gales to two Archdiocesan Division Championships as well as back-to-back -back city title appearances in 2015 and 2016. Let's look at the starters now for Cardinal Hayes. And again, as we mentioned, a little bit of a shakeup in that starting lineup. Those two guys, Moore and Jackson, are guys that you're pretty much going to lock in there in those spots. And those are the two leaders that Joe Lodes and Tim Philp will hope can get them to the promised land here today. Tyleek Fields also uh, has earned himself a starting spot. Jaden Williams, he's Cardinal Hayes' best defender. Maybe he'll get A.J. Rodriguez today, and then it's Steve Solano in the middle. Head coach of Cardinal Hayes, Joe Lodes, in his 15th season, a 1993 graduate of St. Francis Prep. The associate head coach, or the co-head coach, is Tim Philp, who previously spent nine seasons as the head coach of Archbishop Stepanak. Let's take a quick break, and we'll have the opening tip when we return right here. You're watching the CHSAA Basketball Showdown right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks, know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. 
Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Welcome back to Cardinal Hayes High School. Dylan Butler here with you this afternoon on the Varsity Media Sports Network as the starting lineups are being introduced to this crowd here this afternoon. First, the Gales of Iona. They have started the season having a really good start, beating Kellenberg, then a huge win at St. Ray's. Listen, anytime you can get a road win in the Catholic League, it's big. They beat the Ravens 75-67. And then home wins against Holy Cross, Scanlon, St. Peter's. And then that loss to Zavarian, 74-55. A year ago, Iona Prep, they were 8-17, and 4-13 in the CHSAA, losing to Archbishop Malloy, 71-61 in the opening round of the intersectional playoffs. Their leader a year ago was R.J. Green, a first-team All-CHSAA player currently at LIU. He was the NEC Rookie of the Week December 12th. A year ago, R.J. Green for Iona averaged 21 points and 10 rebounds per game. Referees for today's matchup are Kevin Agee, Craig Bell, and Anthony Carnaccio. Last game for both teams here before the Christmas break. Both will be in action next week. Again, non-league games. And then when the calendar turns to 2023, that's when the league schedule kicks in again. Full gear for both of these teams as well as the rest of the Catholic High School Basketball League. Opening tip goes to Cardinal Hayes. And there's Fields, man-to-man -man defense for Iona. Little alley-oop action, Jaden Williams, the finish at the back. I'm gonna say back post, thinking more World Cup soccer there, but you know the idea there. It was back door cut for J uh, Jaden Williams for two. Down low, oh, big block by Solano. Rejecting prey. And to the hoop. The hoop and the harm. Ty Leak Fields. That's a solid start for Cardinal Hayes. Foul was on Keenan. And Fields completes the three-point play. It's a quick five-nothing start. There's A.J. Rodriguez. Pulls up, elbow jumper is good. And that's a little bit of what we told you in the start where he's able to give you those multiple dimensions of his ability to score. From three, no good, Ian Jackson, and that allows Iona Prep now to push the pace. They go baseline, and the layup is good for Baridi. It's 
So after a quick 5-0 start for Cardinal Hayes, Iona has consecutive buckets to pull within one. Williams, Rodriguez on him, stolen away. Good hustle by New, gets the contact. No foul call though, and he's unable to get the layup. Fields in transition, strong to the hole. No good. Rebound goes to Prey. And the Gales turn it over. Iona Prep head coach Steve Alvarado said, as part of the game plan, what do you do with Ian Jackson? Because he got score from inside, from outside, and Jackson travels there in front of the Iona bench. Said we might just be better off giving him the outside and not letting him get to the basket. Here's New, guarded by Williams. New puts it on the court, kicks it out. Three-point attempt, rims out, no good. That was Keenan with the shot. And here comes Moore. Moore guarded by New. Gets it to Williams. Chapa Moore gets it right back. Fall away from the foul line. No good. The rebound goes to Iona. Here's Rodriguez ahead to Prey. Nice up and under move by Jalen Prey. It's now six consecutive points for Iona Prep and a timeout, a 30 second timeout by Cardinal Hayes. Take a look again at Prey. Good decision, putting it on the court, switching it to his left hand for the layup. And that's a little bit of what you get from a Jalen Prey. Again, 6'7, 220, seven and a half points a game, seven rebounds, two and a half assists, and two blocks. He's a guy who's smart. He has great hands. We see there his ability to finish at the rim with either hand. He rips down rebounds, dribbles in transition. Jalen Prey for Iona Prep can be a monster. Just still a junior. But if he can be more consistent with his energy, well then, he could be a, a huge force in this Catholic League. Chapa Moore hands off to Jackson. They try to kick it down low to Solano, but Prey read that pass well and intercepted it. Here's Keenan, the sophomore, to New. So, ooh, some extra passing there. Prey probably should have put it up. Here's Keenan guarded by Moore. Keenan to his left, bounce pass, baseline. Baridi rejected by Fields. Jackson to Fields. Back to Jackson, slips a little bit on the court. And he gets it off to Chapa Moore. A little shimmy and a shake. Moore goes baseline, the double comes, pulls up, and that's good. Elijah Moore's first basket of this game, and he gives the Cardinals a 7-6 lead. Rodriguez to Keenan. Keenan was a guy who was a fearless freshman a year ago. And a foul called a hand check on Jaden Williams. So his first, and... Cardinal Hayes, first foul. Inbound for the Gales underneath. Rodriguez up and under. His second bucket. And Iona goes back ahead, 8-7. Here's Jackson on Baridi, steps back, 4-3. Rims out, no good. Rodriguez rips down the rebound. Here's Keenan. Pulls back, tough jumper, front rim, no good. And the rebound goes to Jackson. Quickly to Chapa Moore. Moore looks to dribble on Prey. 
Good defense by Prey. Now Williams puts it on the court, spins, turns in the lane. No good, chasing down the rebound, hustling there was new. But they say the ball goes off of him. Substitution for Cardinal Hayes into the game for Chapa Moore is Adam Njai. Njai has been a regular starter for Cardinal Hayes. But again, a little bit of a switched starting five today. Tyleek Fields earning more minutes here this afternoon. There is Fields. Double comes, baseline shot, no good. Solano, the rebound. A second chance for the big man, and he finishes at the hole. Solano's first basket, and back and forth. We go with the lead, 9-8 now for Cardinal Hayes. Not quite the intimidating environment here at Duffy Court. This was a game that was moved from 7.45 to noon. And considering we've already seen a cancellation or a postponement of a Christ the King game at St. Peter's tonight, the odds are if this game was still scheduled for 7.45, we wouldn't even be here because it likely too would have been postponed. Rodriguez high off glass. He's got six already, six of his team's 10. Some inclement weather, they're calling, we've had a lot of rain here and they're saying temperatures are gonna really drop. What a look down low, Jackson to Njai. So you're dealing with the possibility of frozen roads later and just a wise decision here with both schools out of session. Why not just play this one early? Blaze New gets the screen from Rodriguez. Little pick and pop. Rodriguez again, and he's got the hot hands. Eight already for A.J. Rodriguez. Njai. And the foul was called by New. New did a lot of good defending there. Put a little extra there on New. New will leave the game, and here comes Lucas Murillo, the sophomore, who's been really valuable off the bench. Still kind of emerging, but at 6'4", 170, good size. Njai uses his strength, gets to the hole for two more. 13-12. Rodriguez, why not? <laughs> 11 for AJ Rodriguez already. His season average is 17. Here's a kick out, three point attempt off the mark. That was Trey Lewis, one of the talented freshmen for Cardinal Hayes. Marilla down low to Prey, uses the strength on Solano. Doesn't finish, Keenan grabs the rebound, off glass, no good, Solano again, takes a rip at it, and it will be Cardinal Hayes' ball. Jordan Skyers also into the game, he'll replace Solano, so Cardinal Hayes will go small. Marcel Henry checks in for the first time for Iona. He replaces Prey. Inside the final minute now, first quarter. And it's Iona Prep with a 15-13 lead. Njai, a little bit out of control. Kicks it to the baseline, up and under. Trey Lewis. Fifteen all. Marillo. Tries to drive, floater, no good. Skyers the rebound, in transition. Njai fakes the three, kicks it back out. Jackson wide open for three, no good. Terrific hustle. Unfortunately for Lewis, he stepped out, or at least his hand as he grabbed the ball was out of bounds, but you love the hustle there by the freshman. With 16 seconds, Hayes looks like they'll pick up full court. Shot clock obviously off, and Rodriguez will inbound for Iona. Gets it to Keenan, surely 
Iona will hold for the last. There's Rodriguez, kicks it into the corner. Down low, that ball intercepted. Loose ball, last shot, three-pointer, front rim no good. That was Keenan with the shot, but it fell just short. Quality first quarter, 15 all is the score, and it's been a big first quarter for this guy in the corner, A.J. Rodriguez. 11 of his team's 15. We are tied at 15 after one quarter. You're watching the CHAA Basketball Showdown presented by Maspeth Federal on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks, know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Welcome back to Cardinal Hayes here on the Grand Concourse in the Bronx. Dylan Butler here with you on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Second quarter about to start. And it is 15 all, Iona Prep and Cardinal Hayes in this battle of Archdiocese squads. A really good first quarter for A.J. Rodriguez. 11 points to lead all scores. 11 of his team's 15. They will double new. Tries to fight his way through. Jackson got the tip, but it went right into the arms of Joe Lodes. Four, you see inbounding there for Iona. That's RJ Jones. He'll get some added playing time today because Caden Noonan, who's usually their seventh guy as Rodriguez is stopped on his way up and the transition, the outlet pass was a little bit too much, but Caden Noonan, the junior, he's usually been Iona Prep's seventh guy, but uh, he's not here today. That's because he's currently in Ghana. His father brought him to Ghana to meet the president of Ghana. That's not too bad on a Friday afternoon to go and meet the president of Ghana, so you can understand why he's not here today. Adam Njai to the rim. Six points for Njai, and it'll be a timeout for Iona Prep. A 30-second timeout. We take a look at the upcoming schedule for Iona Prep. They'll take on Oldsmar Christian and then Crossroads Academy. Those two games at the Florida Get Down. So they'll head down to the Sunshine State for those two. And then the big showdown against Stepanak. That one will be at Iona University. And then they will go back to back. They'll play Mount St. Michael. Well, excuse me. They'll play the Patrick School at Mount St. Michael a day later. So back to back games there for Iona Prep. Actually, they'll go back to back and back to back weeks. Off the timeout. See a little bit of a 1 3 1 look. And Iona's a little bit struggling to get past that trap. And Henry unable to finish at the hole. Jackson. The pass down low. Iona wants a foul called. They don't get it. Williams, though, steps out. So a sloppy offensive set. Prey will come back in, as does Fields for Cardinal Hayes. The same before this. Jim on a Friday night is almost unmatched in the Catholic League for 
how loud it gets, how difficult it is for the opposition. Uh, this has that feel more of one of those Sunday afternoon games. And Jai picks up his the foul, his first, the team's second. Cardinal Hayes early on, one and two at home. That is uncharacteristic for sure of a team that's been one of the best at home. Blaze New ahead to Prey. Tries to kick it down low. Good job intercepting that pass. Oh, the finish by Trey Lewis. Little Euro step. 19-15 the lead. And again, you see the trapping. Stepping underneath the in underneath that, but a steal by Fields. Kick out. Three is good. Njai the finish. Nine for Njai. And this game was tied at 15. And you see the difference right now. Cardinal Hayes on a bit of a run. If you use both hands, you add it up. That's a 7-0 run right now for Cardinal Hayes. Looking to extend that now. Here is Moore up top, guarded by Rodriguez. Up top, Chapa Moore rims out. Tyleek Fields gets the rebound. Trey Lewis attacks the basket. And he'll go to the foul line. Fouled on the way up by Blaze New. It is News second and the team's third. So Chapa Moore. He won't get to the Chapa, but he'll get to the foul line for two. Oh, excuse me, that's Trey Lewis to the line for two. First is good. Lewis of the talented freshman that Cardinal Hayes has, probably off to the best start of any of them in their high school career, knocks down both free throws. The run now is 9-0. Kick out, three-pointer, Bariti, no good. Rebound goes to Njai. He'll look to push Cardinals. They wanted to find their mojo. It seems like they're finding that here in the second quarter. Foul on the court. It's gonna be against Johnny Keenan. And now you've got a little bit of an issue if you are Iona Prep because both of your starting guards, Keenan and New, both have two fouls. Here's Trey Lewis. Lewis, an energy guy as a freshman, and you love as a ball to flex out off new. Lewis to inbounds. I love that he's fearless too on the varsity right away. Chapa Moore dunk, ducks it under, and Solano with the finish. 11-0 run for Cardinal Hayes. Iona yet to score in this second quarter. And a foul called down low. It's gonna be on Solano. His first and the team's third. Kick out, Rodriguez. He finished his first quarter with a three, knocks down another. 14 points now for A.J. Rodriguez, and he ends that 11-0 run for Cardinal Hayes. Chapa Moore, rims around, no good, pray the rebounds. Rodriguez wants the ball, he gets it. 
drives. Oh, everything is falling for A.J. Rodriguez. It's now a six point lead. Moore, open shooter, is Lewis for three. Nine for Trey Lewis. Keenan kicks it in the corner. Three point attempt is good. Blaze New with the triple. His first points of the game. Solano rebounds inside. Second chance! And Solano with authority. There was a whole bunch of frustration there on that second chance opportunity for Solano and he took it all out on the rim. Prey rejected from behind by Solano but he will be called for the foul. His second and the team's fourth. So this will send Jalen Prey to the foul line for Iona. At the line shooting two, Jalen Prey. First rims out. Prey, 6'7", junior. Was big in their win against St. Peter's. And that's an important win too because remember it's the Eagles who beat Stepanak. Prey goes one of two from the, from the line. Some more substitutions. Alexander Bryant, an active, explosive, athletic junior checks in for Iona. 31-24, the score for Cardinal Hayes. Tyleek Field steps out on top. Moore struggling to this point from the three-point line. Ball goes off of Skyers. Or excuse me, a foul was called on Jordan Skyers. <coughs> 15 foul, first for Skyers. <coughs> And the Gales looking to slice in to their deficit. Playing a little high-low game. It was new and Bryant, but ball went off the mark. 2-12 left first half. It was a good start of the second quarter for Cardinal Hayes. <coughs> Inside, Solano again. No good. We'll have a jump ball. And the possession will stay with Cardinal Hayes. <coughs> and actually, it looks like the officials will discuss this a little bit. Kevin Ag, Craig Bell. Just making sure we're all on the same page. question was about the shot clock, which will be reset to 35. Skyers, back to Chapa Moore. Cross court to Skyers again. Jackson, 4-3, good. Ian Jackson gets on the score sheet this afternoon, his first three points, and the lead is 10 for Cardinal Hayes. Blaze New, oh, get out of town, said Solano. Jaden Williams comes in for Steven Solano. Baridi back out to Keenan. Keenan doubles. Good trap and a steal by Williams. And he'll get to the hoop for two. 
Williams with four. The lead 12. New. Also doubles. You gotta move the ball quickly when they trap you in the corners. And a foul was called on Fields. His first in the team six, so Iona one foul, or Cardinal Hayes is one foul away from putting Iona prep on the line for the single bonus. Jor Jalen Prey is back in the game. He's got the ball now, triple teamed. Prey, and that'll be a jump ball, and it will stay with Iona. 51.5 seconds left in the first half. A.J. Rodriguez. Keenan. And there you see it again. You double in the corner. Where is he going to go? Oh, they get a timeout. Joe Lodes was wondering if that ball was jarred loose first. And Alvarado, wisely realizing his guard was in trouble, calls the timeout. For Cardinal Hayes, their schedule going forward after this one, they'll take a really short trip to the Gaucho's gym. It's uh, a couple blocks away here in the Bronx, one of those famed venues. Used to be the home gym of Rice High School, the Gaucho's gym. Guys like Felipe Lopez doing his thing there. Kemba Walker for years. Uh, so they'll play St. Francis Academy out of Maryland. And then into their league schedule, you see they're at the Mount. Then they're at St. Raymond's. And then that super tricky one, this is where Iona lost their first game. You, you take that Tuesday afternoon trip down the Bay Ridge for Iona Prep. It took about an hour 45 just to get there from New Rochelle. And it, it's hard because the Clippers, they're going to bring their energy, and Iona didn't do that in their last game, and there is a foul. It's gonna be against Jackson. So seventh team foul, the first on Jackson. So New will shoot the single bonus. New dropped the first one. But he'll have to redo his free throw. He knocks it down. And New, understandably, kind of arguing, listen, the horn sounded, but I still knocked down the shot. It wasn't given, so he'll have to shoot now, I guess technically a third of two. It doesn't matter because it still has the same effect. New knocks them both down. Final 36 seconds, excuse me, final 28 seconds. Shot clock is off. And the Cardinals will hold for the last. Here's Enjai. 10 seconds. They're waiting for it. Six. Here he goes. Enjai. What will he do? He goes to the hole. No foul. Ball kicks loose. And the Cardinals get nothing out of that last possession. And Hayes has a 10-point lead at the break. You are hoping to get head coach Joe Lodes at the half, but he has walked off with his team. So what we will do is uh, we'll show you some highlights, including this put back by Solano. Not one, but two bites at the apple, and there's the big finish by the big man. At the break here at Cardinal Hayes, it is the Cardinals with a 36-26 lead. You're watching the CHSAA basketball showdown presented by Massmith Federal on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York.
high school sports. Hi, I'm Gene Steratore, CBS Rules Analyst and longtime sports official. For the adults watching this video, you grew up in a world where officials, umpires, and referees for youth sports took their place regularly and reliably ahead of game time. Today, unfortunately, it's getting harder and harder to fill those jobs. Videos showing abusive treatment of officials multiply on social media and there have been consequences for the dreadful behavior of players, fans, and coaches. Massive shortages of officials now lead to games being canceled, and the positive effects of athletic competition are at critical risk for this generation and those to come. I'm hoping we all can begin to see youth competition through a different lens. Today, mistreatment of officials has become normalized, and we are facing an abnormal future where no officials to hire means no games on the schedule. Any call, any decision, any human effect on wins and losses has become subject to not just withering criticism, but physical threats. There's a vicious cycle at work. Fans chase away officials, and there is a smaller pool to draw from, which makes it harder to get quality, well-trained people in position. The entire game suffers. Did you know, according to the National Federation of High Schools, 80% of new officials quit the game after just two seasons because of abusive behavior from the stands and sidelines? This sort of verbal abuse and threatening behavior takes a toll on all officials and makes them leave the game altogether. Did you know, from 2018 to 2022, an estimated 50,000 high school referees, roughly 20% have quit. Half of the remaining referee population is at least 50 years old, but young officials are rarely staying more than three years in the job. If the number of officials working contests in all sports doesn't begin to increase, there won't be enough officials to work the games. That means schedules will get cut, teams or even sports might get canceled. In many states, this is already happening. Remember that officials are invested in what they do. Many officials have regular, full-time jobs, and they're sacrificing time away from their families. Try to demonstrate empathy. Put yourself in their position. Think how you would feel about getting yelled at throughout your workday. Yelling and arguing with officials sends the wrong message to young players. According to Play by the Rules Sports Advocacy, it teaches them that it's not okay to make a mistake. They can blame others for their actions. They can disrespect authority figures. And it's okay to be rude and selfish. You know, officials enforce rules, keep competitions fair, and make player safety a priority, allowing youth sports to be a valuable arena for growth. If we can all just work together and be more empathetic to not just the officials, but everyone else in youth and high school sports, we can then preserve what many of us have embraced about athletics. And you and I know the benefits of sports, right? Let's spread that gratitude and be proud of what we can build and not blind to how it's being torn down. Calling officials cheaters or corrupt, it's not a game. Insulting referees, it's not a game. Threatening officials, it's not a game. Berating young umpires, learning the ropes, it's not a game. Violent language in the stands, it's not a game. Verbal abuse from the sideline, it's not a game. Screaming at a referee in the parking lot, it's not a game. So what happens now? Your response in the heat of the moment is the only thing you totally control, and we have an experiment for you to try. Simply stated, just cheer for your child or the team you're there to support. Move that desire to lash out to a different place and encourage with outrage. 
Your child's sporting memory should be about how you helped inspire and not about how you caused embarrassment. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks. Know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. I said there are two things that you're going to be responsible for for the rest of your life. And that's your physical health and your financial health. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. Welcome back to Cardinal Hayes on the Grand Concourse in the Bronx. 36-26 the lead for the Cardinals over Iona Prep and we're joined now by Cardinal Hayes head coach Joe Lodes. Uh, big start of that second quarter, Joe, where you had I think it was an 11-0 or 13-0 run to extend out, uh, and then and then you trapped out on their guards late in that second quarter, got some turnovers. What what'd you think of the uh, of your team's performance in the first half? Definitely better. Played with better energy. Um, I mean, it's been a long week of practice for us after the, the drubbing we got from CTK. You know, I've been in a bad mood. I'm I'm walking around like Wednesday Adams. I'm just snapping at people. I'm just miserable. I'm just miserable. It's the holiday over. season. You I know, be. and I shouldn't be, but I'm the Grinch right now. So. Um, but I liked our energy. I liked our energy. I thought we played pretty hard. I thought we shared the ball well. Um, hopefully we could keep it up. We haven't won a third quarter all year, so hopefully this will be the one. I was about to ask you what are you looking for your, from your guys in that second half, but, but certainly that's part of it to win the third quarter. I'd imagine also keep that energy going. You know, coaching has got harder as I've got older, as the gray as have come in, right? Because, you know, you have good players, and I talked to Coach Abatello and Mastro and the other guys in the league. It's hard with good players. Because, you know, somebody is not going to win it and somebody's going to be called a bad coach, right? But, you know, the guy who graduates last in medical school, they still call him doctor. But, you know, you don't win it this year, you're a bad coach. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, Joe Lodes, good luck in the second half. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it, guys. And there's the head coach of Cardinal A's, Joe Lodes, with us here at the half. It's 36-26, the lead for the Cardinals. Let's take a look at the high scores, the leading scores from that first half. What a terrific first half for A.J. Rodriguez of Iona Prep. 16 points to lead all scores. And then had Adam Enjai and Trey Lewis combining for nine points apiece for Cardinal Hayes. In that second quarter, Cardinal Hayes outscored Iona Prep 21-11. And that's that 10-point difference you see right now in the scoreboard. But a big first half by Rodriguez to lead all scores. He's one point off his season average here this afternoon. So third quarter just about to start. Let's see if what Coach Lodes said to his team will ring true. Third quarters have been a problem for Cardinal Hayes. And certainly in that in that loss to Christ the King, that was the big difference where I think the Royals started off that third quarter like 17-2. And there's a foul called. Will 
an illegal screen on Solano. So right away, picks up his third. But it was like 17-2 for the Royals and ended up being in that third quarter of a game that was only 33-30 in favor of Christ the King at the half. And that's nearly a travel. But that was because of that amazing three-quarter court, nearly, nearly three-quarter court shot by Dwayne Pierce. But that third quarter went 25-9 for Christ the King. And that was that separation for Christ the King that they needed to really cruise then in the second half to what ended up being a 30-point a win here at Cardinal Hayes. Solano, after picking up his third, will go to the bench. Trey Lewis in for him. There's Bariti. Five on the shot. Keenan's three. No good. Lewis gets it to Fields up top to Moore. Swings it to Jackson. Quick ball movement for Hayes. Lewis doubled momentarily, and it's Jackson up top. Jackson kind of playing a point and a foul was called on Moore after Bariti had the steal. Kind of a necessary foul there by Moore because Bariti was going to get out and likely get two. Sport of soccer, they'll call that a professional foul. Blaze New to the hot hand. Rodriguez down low. Prey works that size and strength. And two more for Jalen. Lewis up top for three. Rims out, no good. Battle for the loose ball. It goes to Johnny Keenan. Has become more vocal this year. That being said, Steve Alvarado wants even more from him in that realm. Keenan turns, lost his dribble, looking for help. He finds it in Rodriguez. That one was short. And it will be Cardinal Hayes' ball. Njai back in for the Cardinals, replacing Fields. Thank you for joining us here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Friday before Christmas. Three-point attempt by Skyers, or Lewis that was, rimmed out no good. We go the other way. Good defense by Jackson denying Bariti. Chapa Moore, get to the Chapa. His first three of the game. 11 point lead for Cardinal Hayes. Look out. Oh, and a foul was called. Keenan was so close to stepping out or stepping over. And instead it goes to Lewis, who's called for the foul. His first and the team's third. A 30 second timeout called by Cardinal Hayes. Cardinals, as we mentioned at the start, the defending champions in the Catholic League. You see that there, 20, 2022 beating Archbishop Stepanak in what was round four. They split both matchups, the rivals did. Cardinal Hayes winning the first game here, losing in White Plains, losing in the Archdiocese final, but then winning it at Hofstra for the championship game. You see before that, it was Christ the King, Stepanak, that 2017 Hayes team beating Archbishop Malloy. And you see below that a lot of Royals, right? Three back, uh, three consecutive for Joe Arbatello's Royals, 2013, 14, and 15. You went back to back in 10 and 11. The only thing separating those was that win in 2012 by St. Raymond's. Who will win it this year? 
Well, Christ the King is maybe right now the early favorite. But Archbishop Stepanak right there as well. Those two teams will play in Middle Village. That will be a game on the ESPN family of networks. We already know that Stepanak and Christ the King both won here. And how about the start for Christ the King too? The game we had for you on the Varsity Media Sports Network as Chapa Moore gets to the basket for two more. That game we had on Tuesday, which was a huge crowd in Middle Village between Christ the King, New gets it underneath and Prey up and under. New realizes he's in the Bronx, has to bring a little flash to his game. Now Jackson for three, no good. But that game on Tuesday was as Rodriguez underneath, rejected, second chance opportunity is good. And this one is being played at a faster pace now than we saw in the first half. Maybe that could be advantage Cardinal Hayes. There's Chapa Moore, pulls up, rims out, no good. And a foul was called on that battle for the rebound. It'll be against Jackson, his second and the team's fourth. But that game Tuesday night was Christ the King's first home game, as remarkable as that might sound at this part of the year. Their first two games were in London. Their third game was at Bishop Lachlan. Rodriguez can't finish at the rim. Triple team, then Rodriguez will go to the line. From there, they went to Sierra Canyon, Christ the King did. As Rodriguez will shoot two. 18 points on the game for A.J. Rodriguez. Front rims, the first free throw. Solano back in for Hayes. We expect Rodriguez recruiting to continue to rise just as his game has here in his senior year. Second free throw in and out. And as much as the conversation is about Christ the King and Stepanak early on in the season, I think it would be a mistake to count out these Cardinals of Cardinal Hayes. It's been a struggle, obviously, early in the season. Some new parts. You lost some influential seniors a year ago. But they are as talented as anybody in this league. Teams exchange turnovers. 41-32 the lead for Cardinal Hayes. Solano, hands off, ooh. Jackson nearly went down on that. Chapa Moore, that's his sweet spot. Another triple for Moore. 10 now for Elijah Moore. Blaze New guarded there by Williams. Harassed by Williams and, in fact, fouled by Williams. So already, with 2.41 left in the third quarter, Iona one more foul away from going to the line to shoot one and one. Keenan to inbound, gets it to his backcourt mate and Blaze New, the UMass lacrosse trans uh, commit, I should say. Prey puts it on the court, stops a little bit short, no good, loose ball. It will stay with Iona. Steve Alvarado, the Gales head coach, said, I don't know if, if Blaze New's toughness comes from lacrosse 
or from basketball, but it's certainly his mentality that he does anything and everything he can to help his team win. How about that move underneath by Jalen Prey? Six points in this third quarter to bring his game total to nine. And he cuts Cardinal Hayes lead to 10. Maybe a little bit of a push off there. Njai gets away with it but misses a shot. Here comes New. He tried to fire it down low to Baridi. But again, off, not on the same page there, those two. Skyers comes in for more. And Lucas Murillo in for the Gales. He'll replace Bariti. Final two minutes, third quarter. 10 point lead for Cardinal Hayes. Looking to snap a rare three game losing streak. Blaze New with the steal. Up and under, scoop layup is good. New with seven now. And a timeout called by Cardinal Hayes. The entire Varsity Media family would like to wish you and yours a happy holiday season. Certainly Christmas, two days away, New Year's as well. And this is actually, I believe, our last sportscast of the 2022 calendar year. So we will see you after the ball drops next. We'll have a lot of Catholic League hoops ahead. We've got games at Christ the King. We've got games at St. Francis Prep here at Hayes as well. We've got some St. Anthony's or Catholic High School Hockey League action as well. So it should be a lot of fun. In 2023, on the Varsity Media Sports Network. The Cardinal Hayes ball off of that timeout. It's Skyers. Another one of the talented freshmen. We've only not seen one of the freshmen. That's Magic Mel. We expect to see him in the new year. That was battling like a, a hip injury. But looking forward to seeing Jermel Thomas, who goes by Magic Mel, already has a Fordham offer. Look forward to seeing him in the new year. Sixty-nine seconds left. Third quarter. Jackson. Drives on New, kicks it out. Just inside the foul line was Williams. The soft touch around the rim, he will get two. Six now for him. Back to the double digit lead for Cardinal Hayes. Marillo from the corner, no good. Njai pushes the pace. Jackson, baseline, Skyers rejected by Prey. And now the big man puts it on the court. Get out of the way! Prey misses the layup. Njai to Jackson, fake the three. Shot clock is off, so Cardinal Hayes can hold for the last. Njai backs up right by the scorer's table. 12 seconds. Solano sets the screen. Njai to Williams, drives strong at Prey, and he is fouled on his way up. It's only the second team foul by Iona in this 
quarter. So Williams will shoot two. First, no good. Jaden Williams has a Lincoln offer, just like A.J. Rodriguez. There you see it. Williams, a guy who's described by their coaching staff as a glue guy, a guy who doesn't say a word, just goes out, puts his head down, and does the work. Half-court shot by Marillo is no good. So Cardinal Hayes with a 46-36 lead after three quarters, looking to snap a three-game losing streak. Get to the Chapa. Chapa Moore knocks it down. He's a big reason why Cardinal Hayes has that 10-point lead. You're watching the CHAA Basketball Showdown presented by Mass with Federal on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Maspeth Federal Savings is here through it all. The ins and outs, the ups and downs, through the winters, the summers, and even the spring of leaks. Know that Maspeth has your back. From luxury sheets to balance sheets to dancing under the stars, your mission is our mission. And when our community calls, we proudly step forward. So whether you need it now or planning for tomorrow, through all the twists and all the turns, you can always find us right here in your neighborhood. Welcome back to Cardinal Hayes here. Fourth quarter about to start between Iona Prep and Cardinal Hayes. The Cardinals with a 10 point lead heading in to the final eight minutes of regulation. Joe Lodes, when he joined us, said we're still looking to win our first third quarter. Unfortunately, Coach Lodes, you didn't do that in this one. 10-10 was the scoring in that third quarter. And again, the difference between these two teams is literally in that second quarter. They were tied at 15. Marillo's three off the mark, knew the rebound. Gets it back to Marillo. Return to sender, new. Stops into the trees. They'll get called for a traveling violation. But the teams were tied at 15 after the first quarter. Again, you go 10-10 in the third quarter, so the difference is that 21-11 second quarter for Cardinal Hayes right now, and that is your lead. 10 points at the start of this fourth quarter. Njai works off the Solano screen. Gets it to Fields. You get the feeling this is a really important eight minutes in the Cardinal Hayes season. Jackson, perhaps realizing that, gets to the basket. He's got five. If you are Iona Prep, you want to try to get, I think, 13. A.J. Rodriguez, as many touches as possible. He's got 18. Three-point shot is good. Make it 21. Blackjack for Rodriguez. On cue, right? As soon as we said, you have to get him the touches. Keenan, dribble penetration, and the kick. And Rodriguez, nothing but net for A.J. Rodriguez. He was our impact, one of our two impact players coming in to this one. We could revisit those keys from the start of this game, kind of see where these teams are in terms of what they were looking or hoping to do. See there for Iona, they want to play at their temple. They've done that, I think, for a good amount of the time. Lock down the paint, limit unforced errors, and spread them out, get quality looks. They've done that uh, also. So I think you could probably check a couple of those off for Iona. For Hayes, push the ball, rebound, shoot better. Regain their mojo. I don't know if they've shot better. They've, be they've played at a better tempo and a better energy, certainly. And they regain the mojo. I guess time will tell. Tyleek Fields went right at Prey, and Prey is so strong. Ends up being a jump ball. The possession stays with Cardinal Hayes.
Trey Lewis. He's got nine on the game, guarded by Keenan. Gets it to Jackson. Quick ball movement again. Solano at the foul line. Hands off to Jackson, works off the screen. Jackson works, runs at Prey, and he draws the foul. So Prey's second, and the team's third, and Jackson will go to the line for the first time this afternoon. First free throw is good for Captain Jack. Ian Jackson, you see some of those offers for Jackson, Kentucky, Calipari, and Orlando Antigua were in the gym Sunday afternoon to watch that game against Christ the King. Oh, tough shot by Keenan. And actually his first basket of the game. Blaze New picks up his third and the team's fourth. Morin Williams back in for Cardinal Hayes. The 15 offers right now for Ian Jackson. There's Chapa Moore. He's got 13 of his own. Certainly a terrific junior tandem. Jackson just muscles his way to the basket. And Jackson in the money quarter, it looks like he is asserting his will as Will knock, uh, New knocks down the three. 10 now for Blaze New. Listen, there's no doubt Ian Jackson's the alpha male of this team. And in the fourth quarter, that's when you look to take over. Williams, hands off, Njai, bounce pass. Gets kicked around, but it'll stay with Cardinal Hayes. Eight point lead for the Cardinals. Solano, and here comes Jackson, fouled by Baritzi. Fifth team foul for Iona, Baritzi's first. And Jida inbound underneath, Jackson. Now Njai, Williams. Jackson fakes the three. And he's going to the basket, fouled there by Keenan. It's his third. And now, uh, Cardinal Hayes won foul away from also going to the line for the single bonus. Both teams one away. Njai. Njai, oh, just short. Gets his own rebound, though. And he finishes. 11 now for Njai. Look out. Jackson anticipating that pass. It'll stay, though, with Iona. Back to that 10 point lead for Cardinal Hayes. The bigs now. Prey, spin move. Pretty stuff by Prey, 11 for him now. Jackson! Triple for Captain Jack, 11 points. The lead for Cardinal Hayes. The floater off the, off the backboard, no good. Njai, Jackson claps his hands, he wants the ball, gets it, fakes the three, puts it behind the back, pulls up on Prey, no good, Solano skies for the rebound, then he's fouled on his way up. It's a news fourth. 
team's seventh. So the big man, Solano, will shoot two. Solano came in here from Donda Academy from California. That institution closed, which meant the window of opportunity opened. Violation for the second was no good. You saw some of those offers there for Solano. Bryant, Fordham, Georgia Tech, Nebraska, South Carolina, Virginia Tech after the 6-11 junior. 12 points the lead for Cardinal Hayes. 4-11 left in the fourth quarter. Barrette guarded by Williams. It's Keenan in the corner. They will double him there. Gets it to Peretti, the extra pass. Rodriguez swatted away by Solano. Njai ahead, more! The flush! Timeout, Iowa Prep. Hey, Elijah Moore doesn't just finish from beyond the arc. He could finish at the rim as well. And first, it's the defensive stop. Solano and then Njai. You get out in transition, you've got numbers and more with the finish. He's got 12 in this game for Cardinal Hayes and that lead has ballooned. It's the largest lead of the game right now for Cardinal Hayes, 60 to 46. Cardinal Hayes team you see in the huddle. Their schedule has been brutal. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, that win over Pinkston and the loss to Lake Highlands. A loss here to Stepanak. A win over St. Peter's. An 11-point loss to the number one ranked team in the country by ESPN, Duncanville, Texas. And then Perry, Arizona and Christ the King back or three consecutive losses now, and that's what Cardinal Hayes is trying to snap and go into the Christmas break feeling a little bit better, and maybe those practices won't be so stressful. They've got to close it out here, though, to do so. Keenan, jumper no good. Solano went to grab the rebound, but he was unable to hold on. So the possession stays with Iona Prep. There's Blaze New. Staying in the game, he's got four fouls. Rodriguez back to New, open three. Good! Moore, three. Missed, Enjai the putback. Thirteen for Njai. AJ Rodriguez open three. That's good. That's the way you slice into your deficit, right? It was 14 a minute ago, and you knock down back-to-back -back triples. There's Keenan splitting defenders, kicking it to a wide open AJ Rodriguez, and he'll bury it from there for Rodriguez, his third triple of this game. 24 points now for A.J. Rodriguez. 10 points, the lead for Cardinal Hayes. Rodriguez and Blaze New were the two guys we mentioned at the start. Players to watch for Iona. And they were, they are as advertised. New didn't score in the first quarter, so all of his scoring has been in the three quarters since. And he's got 13 so you've got three players in double figure scoring for Iona. Of course, again, led by A.J. Rodriguez is 24. Enjai has got 13. Elijah Moore has 12. Twelve for Jackson, and he was only limited to three points through the first three quarters. 
and Jai. Iona now ratcheting up the intensity defensively. Njai nearly loses it, kicks it out. Jackson fakes the three, the pretty finish, and the foul. That was pretty by Captain Jack. Murillo's first foul, the team's eighth. Look at that finish, high off glass. Murillo, the blocking foul. And Jackson unable to complete the three-point play. Lead is 12. Heenan. Hands off. Rodriguez up top. New three, no good. Here comes Elijah Moore. Jaden Williams. Solano. The easy finish down low. Nine for Solano, and that lead is back up to 14. Matching the largest lead of this game for Cardinal Hayes as we approach two minutes left, fourth quarter. Here come the Cardinals in transition. The handoff to Moore. Williams spins, kicks out, and Jai for three, no good. New. Barrette ahead of the field. Kicks it to an open Murillo for three. Back rim, no good. Offensive rebound by New. And there was a foul on the floor. Third foul there for Jaden Williams. And this will send New the line for one and one. First is good. New had some big free throws as he knocks down both of these against St. Peter's to ice that big win. Twelve point lead, a minute thirty. Here's Williams. Captain Jack. Might that be the exclamation point on this one? That was Kylon Brown trying to hand off. Barrette stripped underneath by Enjai. And there's New. Spins. New. Good defense by Njai. Final minute. Njai. Jackson. So Williams back to Ian Jackson. Thirteen fourth quarter points for Ian Jackson. Oh, what a pass! Chapa to Solano. And that's, if that, if the other dunk by Jackson wasn't the exclamation point, I think Solano wrapped this one up with a nice bow as Cardinal Hayes can basically just hold on to the basketball here and secure a much needed win. 70-54 is the final score. So Cardinal Hayes will snap a three-game losing streak and go into the holiday season on a big win. We'll take a quick break at the player of the game when we return right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media is the tri-state area sports leader. We offer an array of services for any team, coach, player, athletic director, and parent. From game film to live streaming, we are available to cover your event anytime, 
any place. Looking for an enhanced experience? How about a professional broadcast with multiple camera angles, announcers, graphics, and instant replay? Need a highlight reel? We produce individual highlights for college recruiting and team highlight videos for end of season banquets. And when it comes to social media, nobody has you covered better than us. Hype videos, sideline highlights. We can tailor custom videos to make your team stand out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Why waste your time dealing with anyone else? When it comes to sports video, Varsity Media stands alone. Contact us at 516-403-2050 or online at varsitymedia.net. Welcome back to Cardinal Hayes. The Cardinals, a big win, 70-54 to over Iona Prep, snapping a three-game losing streak, and a big part of that is our player of the game, Ian Jackson, joining us now from courtside. And uh, Ian, big fourth quarter for you, 13 of your 16 in the fourth. Uh, Coach Lodes has described you as the alpha male of this team, a guy who you know, wants to take over, wants to lead, and it certainly seemed like you led by example there in that, in that fourth quarter. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Um, just in the first three quarters, uh, just getting into the flow of the game, not really wanting to force anything, let everything come to me. Um, just, just adjusting, really. Um, just learning for our differences from the past few games we lost it, and then coming in here and changing it. Yeah, thirty point loss to to Christ the King was was certainly surprising. Um, it's it's led, from my understanding, to you know a tough week of practice, right? Like you you guys. Uh, the defending champions, and, and you've lost three in a row. What was the, the key for you guys here today to, to bounce back from that? I just put it behind us. Um, the game happened already. Uh, we, we can't change it. We can't go back and play them again on the same day. But just, just move past it. Uh, I feel like that's what we did. We had a hard week of practice. We came out here and had, had a great game as a team. Yeah, Coach Lode said that the uh, he in, in the first half liked the, the energy level, the intensity um, that you guys showed on both ends of the court. Um, and in the fourth quarter, you, you brought that again. You know, like they were they were hitting some threes. AJ Rodriguez was getting hot, um, but it seemed like you know it got to ten and it didn't get below that. It seemed like you guys made sure that you closed it out strong. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, just understanding that we did lose three games, we still had something to prove. Um, just keep keeping a little chip on our shoulder and knowing that it's just one game. Uh, it's keep, we still got a lot to prove and a lot to learn as a team. It'll be nice now to go into Christmas uh, with a win, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. And you go to the Gauchos next week for another one of these big kind of national schedule games that I'm sure you like. But I, but going into next week off a win, uh, I'd imagine it's got to be pretty good for the confidence of this group. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for everybody. Uh, just, just putting those losses behind us, we ended on a good note, and we're going to go in next week with way more confidence than we did in the past few games. All right, Ian Jackson, Captain Jack, congratulations on the win. Best of luck going forward, and, uh, and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Appreciate well. it. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> All right. Ian Jackson joining us here. Uh, courtside, big win for Cardinal Hayes. 70-54, to 54. again, your final score. Ian Jackson, a big part of that with 16 points. That'll do it here from Cardinal Hayes for our entire varsity media crew. Of course, our executive producer, producer Ben Turchin, our technical director extraordinaire Chris Sweeney, Ron Pierre bringing you all those great moving images and for myself Dylan Butler again we want to wish you and yours a happy holiday season from the entire Varsity Media family to yours and we look forward to seeing you again in 2023.